How you doing guys? This is Wayne with truckpolisher.com. Website's uh, address is www.truckpolisher.com. If you need supplies or anything to polish aluminum, there's also a store. You can get there from the website or you can just type in shop.truckpolisher.com. Anyways, it's been a while since I shot a video polishing a front wheel. I thought I'd, you know, keep you updated and keep you new here. So, I still use a yellow bar, which is a coker yellow. And I've also taken on a new line, which is uh, keystone polishing. So, basically, I'm going to show you how to use a bruise lube with the keystone products today. It's going to be their 8 inch buff your brown primary cutting bar and the green secondary cutting bar. They're all available on the website for you to purchase. And at any time you have any questions, you know, just feel free to get a hold of me at truckpolisher at gmail.com. I love helping you guys out. Doesn't take any time away from my day at all. More like a you know, pleasure. So let's get started. And you know what we do first, we're going to apply the rouge lube to the rim. And we're going to be putting on the uh, rouge lube. Okay. Metal polish for a machine. And what it does, it helps you uh, coat the aluminum prior to polishing. It will help you remove tar. Uh, it's aggressive enough to... Uh, get down to the aluminum so we can start putting this back into a mirror in it. So all I do is I just rub a little bit around there, okay? If you got some areas around the lugs, you can just rub around the lug area here. You don't need much, you just gotta get it on there a little bit. It also helps keeping the bar from sticking to the aluminum, okay? Well, a lot of people have that problem with the diamond plate, especially on wheels. Sometimes you'll have that when you're uh, buffing a you know, pretty, pretty nasty wheel. Now this, this rim here is probably three years old. I don't think it's ever been polished, except maybe by hand. I don't think it's ever had a machine touch it. So this might be the first time. So. I'm going to start out with, like I said, is the brown primary cut bar from Keystone Pouch. One thing I want to make note of is how I cut around the lugs. Okay, my my cut is I I come up with the X and I come this way, and that creates an X in the center of the lug, and that's basically going to get you down here. And it's going to cut here real nice and get this edge. When you come this way, you're going to cut from here up, you're going to clean this real nice, and up here. really gives you a good finish at the end with real, uh, really nice uh, professional results. Now, I typically do wear a respirator when I do this and a face shield, but today, you know, for purposes of this video, I'm um, lucky not to, but I do suggest that you wear a respirator, face, mask, uh, some gloves, some eye shields, you know, keep it safe, keep it polished too. So here we go.
All right, now that I got the lug area cut out and up to the air holes, I like to take the next step and cut on both sides of the air hole. I do that so that I don't have so much bucking from the grinder hitting that side of the air hole. Once it hits the lip, it's going to grab and start taking. So what I do is I cut from each end. And then I follow up with a, a soft buff going that way, lifting the grinder towards the, as I get to the air hole, lifting the pad off the wheel to give me a nice, nice transition around the hole into the next area. So that looks pretty good with the brown primary cut. What that cut does, when, uh, what you're looking for is if you have road salts on there, or any blemishes, what have you, you want to remove those with the brown cutting bar. That would be like your first step to remove any blemishes, road tar, road rash, road film, what have you. They will remove uh, quite a bit, except if you have uh, harder areas, like right here we have some scratching. Now you can re-remove that with the brown bar. There is enough grit in the brown bar and you know, compound to actually take care of that. So you just have to go a little bit slower. next step is going to be the green bar from Keystone Polish. Uh, what you want to do with this step is to clean up anything that you did with the brown. Okay, So we're basically going to redo the whole rim a little bit. It don't take much. You already got the nice shine on there. What you're doing with this bar is you're going to remove some of the harsh buffing pad marks that you have and give you more shine than what you have right now. So if you'd like to, you can switch over to a white polishing pad, and that would give you a less buff line, or you can keep with the green, okay? So right now, with this type of rim, this uh, condition, I'd be better off going to a white pad. But for the video's sake, I'm just going to keep it, keep it with the green, and let you see what the yellow buffing wheel can do for you to save you the added cost.
if you're going to stop at the green secondary polish, you don't want to have too much buff uh, polish on your pad. You want to keep it as light as possible so that you get less buffing lines on the product. So you want to have enough to do the job, but not so much to create buff lines on the metal. I'm just going to be uh, doing it this way for your sake. Usually I come up to the air hole. I lift back up on the pad and do a good transition into the next one. But that is three years of experience. This would be an easier way for you to do it. It's go up to the air hole, let off on the trigger, go around it, and then start up again. There you have it. Excuse me. There you have it. Any uh, rouge that may be left on it, it'd be like just a, a haze of it. I just use a, a white terry cloth towel and I remove that. And that'll wipe off some of that. And then the next time you go to wash your vehicle or your big truck or what have you, this is actually a Renegade RV. Uh, they're starting to put these big truck wheels on here. And so. Just by wiping off that residue right now, gives you a nice clear finish. You can see what a you know a two-cut system did right there. You can actually go to another one, which is the white bar. Uh, if you're really picky about your mirror finish and your shine, you can go there. It gives you even a more illuminated mirror. But what we have there is just fine for by about 85% of the public. So, anyways, you get that done. You plop the caps on. If you wanted to, you could you know clean those off. So. <laughs> There's a gentleman that's going to follow up behind me to do that process. So, anyways, this is a video to polish a Renegade 22.5, I believe it's an Alcoa style aluminum rim. So, I'm going to put this back together here. I'm going to clean out this little cover thing a little bit. Pop that thing back in there and be done. Okay, like I said, if you guys have any comments or what have you, get a hold of me. That truck polisher at gmail.com. I don't mind answering my mail. Okay, a lot of guys comment to me that, man, you are like the only guy that ever got back to me, man. And I don't mind, I ain't afraid of a couple questions here and there. So, go ahead. Please, uh, please get back to me on any comments. Go to the website at www.truckpolisher.com. If you need supplies right now, go to shop.truckpolisher.com and they'll get you to the store. Anyways, uh, don't forget to uh, share this video with your friends and uh, become a subscriber. Thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you on the flip side. All right. Have a good day.